What is up guys welcome back to another video now in today's video we are going to be taking a look at a rom for our pc yeah if you have been following me on instagram i posted a pic about this bliss rom for our pc a month ago but i didn't review it cause version 7.2 which was actually a nicer version of the rom was not actually booting on my laptop at least cause if you don't already know the android 7.1 no guard has some kernel changes so it's a bit difficult to port it to the x86 projects but now the version 7.2 stable has been released and it just works flawless on your PC. I'm just going to show you without the installation thingy. I'm just going to show you how to get it on your USB thumb drive. First of all, plug in your USB drive into your PC, just like that. Hope you can see the screen very clearly. I'm using my different lens with my camera, so I'm sorry for that. This is my first attempt. So you have to just download a program called Rufus from your description. Let's just open that and also download the ISO for the actual ROM. Uncheck this check device for bad locks. It should be free DOS over here. Let's just select ISO image. Search for the ISO, there you go, Bliss 7.2 and it should automatically select all the suitable settings for partitions as you can see over here and file system might not be correct for the first time but make sure that it's FAT32 by default and let's just start. It will erase everything on your pen drive so you must take a backup of it as you can see all the data will be destroyed, set OK and in some 5 to 10 minutes it should be ready with your pen drive and just after 5 minutes it has been installed so let's just close it and now we will be booting into the BIOS. Now for the PCs it must be the delete button for all of kind of pieces but in laptops it should be f2 now in some laptops you might be having some media controls over here like me so you have to press down your function button and the f2 button in order to enter the bios unplug the usb and let's just restart let's just keep our fingers ready this should be extremely quick now it's booting let's just press on f2 as you can see, it successfully booted into the BIOS. Let's just go to the configuration and you must enable this USB boot over here and some of higher end motherboards also have extra security options over here. So if you have boot security enabled, just disable that. And as you can see, my boot priority has been set for the USB first. So let's just connect your USB drive and exit. It should be automatically booting to Android. Now we'll be just running Android without the installation. You will find dozens of videos on installation of Android on your PC. It will take around five to six minutes depending on your USB speed and your CPU you it might give some errors but it's just okay it's adjusting the graphics drivers now and now it's booting as you can see it would be up in one to two minutes and surprisingly the boot time was just under one to two minutes let's just get started And there you go, you have your Bliss ROM booted. And now you can just unplug your USB drive. As you can see, you can go to the menu. Now the camera, at least on my laptop, doesn't work. But on the Resurrection Remix, which is the most popular Android for PC OS, doesn't even have the camera working. At least this one shows a screenshot for a second. It works and then it just crashes. Now let's just take a look at the apps. As you can see, you first of all get the standard calculator, then the calendar, camera, Chrome, clock and this rom also comes with the gf so you have already the play store and the google apps working then you have the contact developer tools downloads email gallery gmail google hangouts and the kernel auditor now it's not diverse as controlling your android device but still it gives you many features in controlling the color temperatures and anything now all of the apps over here are not basically working such as this music app over here then you get the notes phone play store rss reader settings youtube taskbar and substratum and yep substratum is working you can completely theme this rom as you can see Get the setup and this is extremely quick and all of your media and hardware keys will be working over here such as my media volume as you can see i can control my volume over here then the brightness just works fine and most of the settings which are controlled by the swipe are by tap over here such as opening the status bar you have to just tap it and the whole status bar opens close the quick settings over here as you can see you get the standard stuff if you go into the edit you get the additional quick settings over here such as screen record music brightness expanded and you also have third party ones such as the taskbar substratum then you have the most useful one which is the nightlight and the reboot yep you will need the reboot let us exit and go to the settings let us go to the display you will have the standard features such as the night light over here and it is working let me assure you as you can see the whole display turns yellow this is the most useful feature in the nougat as you can see you can control your display so if you have a huge monitor this would be handy but i would just like smaller one then you have the other stock android settings but you do get apps compatibility over here so if the apps are crashing on your pc you can enable this so the apps run arm native libraries and uh, they would think it's just a normal android device also let us go to the memory my laptop has 8 gigs of memory but still it shows uh, around 6.7 gb of ram which is almost 7 gb uh, the remaining 1 gb of RAM goes for the GPU. Let's just go down and you will have the Blissify options. If you go to the status bar settings, you have the normal settings such as AM, PM and stuff. 
bliss logo you can enable the bliss logo at the top quick settings notification banner lock screen settings there are not used system settings over here as there are only animation settings then you have the button settings navigation bar you can turn it on and off then you get the super issue to control your route going to the about phone it tells you about the bliss rom you also have another tab over here in order to get more info about the bliss rom as you can see bliss version 7.2 let's just check the android security level okay it's june 5 wow you are getting one of the latest security patches android version 7.1.2 no good and that's basically it now if you want to exit this android you don't need to force reboot your pc you can just open your notification panel expand it you can just tap on the reboot then you will have the options to reboot your recovery just normal reboot and now you have to just hold on it and the device will be rebooting so guys thanks for watching this was a quick little review of the bliss rom on your pc hope you guys enjoyed and if you want more videos like this in the future please subscribe down there and let me know in the comment section below and thanks for watching peace